Hello my beautiful buddies and uh, welcome to the channel for a speed build. But however, before I go into the speed build, I wanted to show you guys, I guess, what we're working with. So I'm renovating my very first house I ever made in The Sims 4. But this was my very first build in The Sims 4. It was before I had a channel. It was back in 2014, back when I was just kind of starting to discover more and more simmers on YouTube and I started to get inspired to make my own channel then but I didn't do it until like I wanted to say 2017 or something like that so I thought about it for a while before I actually acted on it so we have this here and I thought it was cute that I attempted to do a little like balcony I thought that was you know a a good feature I had back then even though I was like kind of like well new to building this before as you can see this is really ugly <laughs> um, but the flowers are cute I like that I put a little sunflower maybe I'll have to like pop that in somewhere as an homage this lot also too was in uh, the original world, um, Willow Creek, the one right next to like the river next to it. Obviously, I'm putting it in Windenburg right now or Veronaville to go in my save file once it's all renovated. I'll bring you guys back around. So I guess the back of the house was like supported by this beam right here. And the backyard was really empty, guys. Backyard was so empty. I would have probably put a pool in there if pools existed, but they didn't exist back then. <laughs> there was no pools in the Sims 4 during lunch. So if you walk in, there's like really not a lot of furniture in here. So I had the bathroom off to the side. A lot of browns, honestly. So many browns. I don't know why I picked browns. I kind of don't like brown. And then we have our little computer corner, our little TV. I think this was even before you could size things up or down. We had one of these in the corner. I have no idea why we had one of these. We didn't even have a kid. So why did we have one of these? I don't know. Maybe it was kind of... I kind of wanted to bring the vibe, I think, of this house was this family's that they've kind of like grown over the years kind of thing. I think that's the vibe I wanted to go for. Then we have this ugly ass green kitchen. Oh my god, why? <laughs> my eyes. Different, because I could have sworn... I made this house bigger because we had like, I want to say like five Sims living here. I don't know if some of the beds got deleted or like what happened, but I had a Sim, um, like two twins like living in this room. I don't know how or what happened to the other room, but you know what? I'm just going to roll with it. I think, you know what it was? I think I built this house and then I made the family and then I made the house bigger later. I think that's what happened, but I'm sticking with the original house and what I did with the original house because I did end up playing with a family in this build. However, I think I, ren I just renovated it to fit the family. Comment down below if you want me to see make over the family, put them in the save file. Cause like, I know it, they don't belong with Veronaville, but like, you know what? There's so many, there's so little Sims in Veronaville. Like, I guess I could add my own Sims. And then here we have a bathroom. This one's a bit cuter. She's, she's kind of cute, even though she's a little bit vintage. We have a fireplace here with, honestly, this looks like comp concrete. Did I even put a carpet? <laughs> No, and like not mention you could fall down the stairs and we have you know our little treadmill in the corner might have to make this house bigger again when we have the parents room i actually like the parents room the parents room is actually the best house i think of the entire house you have to keep this blue scheme but yeah that's the house i'm gonna go ahead and renovate this now and geez look at look at this roofing i'm i have my work cut out for me especially too because i'm gonna changes to fit the Mediterranean type of kind of vibe I'm getting for the world. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the speed build now. Hi guys, I'm back from the future. Now here we are with the actual build renovation. I have to say guys, just a disclaimer, that I could have easily went ahead and changed the whole outside and made it look like a completely different build. However, I didn't want to do that just because this is supposed to be a renovation, not a complete let's reconstruct the whole thing because I still wanted you to be able to tell, hey, this was the same house, but it just looks 
a lot better now. Um, and like I said, I am trying to fit this in the world for my save file, which is Ronaville. So that's why I did it in the style I did it. Otherwise, I would have kept the suburban house and stayed true to that. That was the only reason why I did that. Um, because uh, most likely I would have kept that suburban style if not. But I really like the way it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. Um, and again, yeah, let me know if you want me to um like make over my very first family and put them in this world because i really don't think um Ronaville has that many residents in it as far as i remember um and something really stupid of me is i just realized that i haven't done the summer dream household yet as far as their house so that's also on my list i completely forgot about that household i don't know why i guess i just thought i did the main families already but i completely forgot about them so stupid me so <laughs> i should add that to my list of things to do soon um Currently, something that's new is we are getting a new kit, or we have gotten a new kit. Um, I'm not sure actually when it comes out, just because I usually get the codes a little bit sooner than you guys um, from being in the Creator Network a program but yes we got a new kit it's for kids and then we're getting a desert kit as well soon i haven't checked them out at this current moment but yeah i think that's really cool also too now that i think about it i actually don't know if that stove is functional someone please tell me that if you have move objects on if you can use the stove top and the oven in the same one if they're the two separate objects one from home dream decorator i actually haven't check that yet i don't know i just like the way that they are together i don't know if it's what it is but in real life you'd have the stove and stove the stove top and the oven separate like that is a normal thing but in the sims am i the only one that just thinks it looks a little odd i don't know maybe it's because i need to have like the longer decoration that like covers the countertop or something like that because i don't know it just looks a little odd to me i gotta i gotta play around with that object a little bit more i think because the when i play with it it just looks odd um anyway i'll tell you about this family the family i played in this household originally was um a family with two twin daughters and an older son now i always picture the older son to be um in college and then the younger girls to be like high school age um however when i first built this house i guess i built it just for like a three sim family home i remember me renovating it and adding another bed in that same bedroom and somehow having both girls in one bedroom squashed <laughs> i don't know how and then i actually think i built like a granny flat out in the back for the guy um back then it was like 2014 which by the way um today is actually as i'm recording this the sims 4's anniversary so happy anniversary to the sims um and uh, Anyway, it was in 2014 and it was in the era when I was just first discovering um, more simmers on YouTube. So it was when I was past like the era of like Queen and Live Simmer, even though Live Simmer was still progressively making content on, on YouTube then. And she still streams as far as I'm aware. Anyway, um, and I was discovering people like James um, Turner and De Deliberacy and Urban Sims and all them. And I remember um, Deliberacy always made like granny flats in her earlier builds. I don't know why, but she always did. And it was a unique idea at the time. So I remember stealing that idea and putting that in my own build because um, I'm not really sure. Did I watch? Did I discover her before The Sims 4 came out? I can't remember. But I remember just renovating and taking that idea from some simmer. I'm not sure if it was her or not. But I remember doing that at some point. And yeah, it was... That was a moment. <laughs> I wish I had the renovation of this build. Because I almost wish I did that version than the original build. Because I'm talking to you guys as if you guys see that version but it's not but i'm glad that i stuck with i guess the first 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 renovation i mean not first renovation first version of this house possible um and you know what i think 2014 me would have would have been proud of my building skills these days because i definitely couldn't build that well back then um 
as you can see, I, I wouldn't say it was terrible. I wasn't terrible. It was just very blah and very square. And now I have brought life into the home. I have brought personality into the home. And it is wonderful. <laughs> anyway, um, something else I've recently have been doing is I'm actually going to do a build on it. But I discovered this new platform, which is so cool. Um, and I don't want to tell you what it is because I think I'm going to make a dedicated video to it. So it's something different. But I think you guys will really like it because you guys love videos where I like give you guys great ideas for things like challenges and everything else so I'm really excited to share that idea with you um and anyway um I should tell you about the progress for the save file because the save file is coming along um it has quite a few lots in it I think I when I started Veronaville I underestimated how many lots are actually in the Winden berg like world base for this it is so many lots and it is so long i have done some off camera right recently i have renovated the old library guys and oh my god i think i'm going to share some screenshots for you i'll have to share some screenshots you want to know why because that library turned out so beautiful once i was done with it i don't mean to toot my own horn but using a lot of items from the sims university from that pack as well as a high school pack and the wedding pack mm, beautiful kiss you want to know why because i made this really dark academia kind of look to it from like pinterest and the bottom level of the library is like normal i've added some of the debate computer things so like it has more than just computers and books in it because that's the whole reason why i don't really use libraries that much in the sims 4 um so i added some things like that but then the whole upper level has this beautiful area that's still library but it's a party space for a wedding, which I thought was really interesting just because I was like, mm, it's not your typical choice for like a wedding venue in The Sims, but I turned it into so pretty and I can't wait to show it to you guys like when I show off the whole town because it is so pretty. Um, and I have done some more off camera, things like that. I can't remember the other thing I did off camera, but I'm doing quite a few off camera. Oh, I did a park. I did a park. I did share that on the on the community tab though. Um, the reason why I'm doing some off camera things is because I noticed that my builds for this series haven't been doing as well as past ones for other towns. And I don't know if it's just because, yeah, I've been gone for quite a few months. So I think I have to be kind to myself and remember that. Um, but yeah, I decided that to do some off camera just because there are so many lots anyway. And <laughs> I'm trying to get a move on with this so I can go and do other content for you guys but I love this project too much to abandon it and um yeah I don't want to completely abandon this and I love my save file it's like my baby so yeah um maybe if I start getting more <laughs> I guess like love on the channel again I'll start posting like the little builds and things like that but I figured the things that I'm just like renovating but I'm keeping the lots very much still the same structure that you guys like it's not as fun to see for you guys but yeah just let me know if you actually are like yay I'm so excited to see like the process anyway um I have included some different build techniques I have seen in this build. So one of them is a build technique I saw on TikTok, um, where you put like, you build basically a platform on another level and you bring it down and you get to have this like floating space over the pool. And I thought it was so cool and I wanted to try it and it worked. I can confirm that it works. However, um, when you're in the pool, you have to have all the walls up for it to be shown. But I thought that was really cool. Yeah. And then we have the cute little shed. I, I guess I'm paying homage to that granny flat, but making it a shed instead. That's something also that you guys can do to spice up your builds. If you find that your builds are boring um, and that you need more like life into your house, but you have these like objects, for instance, that are really great gameplay objects, but you have nowhere to put them in the house, just build a shed. I'm telling you guys, you build a shed and you can have those items like the woodworking table and like the juicer, the candle maker, things like that. You have a space for them now. 
you're welcome what do you guys think of the new kits i know that we spoke a little bit earlier about the kit pack which one are you more excited about the um the kids one or the desert one personally i love building so i'm kind of excited for the desert one the only thing i notice is that even though i like these kits i am not using a lot of them or at all really i should say at all for my save file just because i notice that kits don't really do as well um i feel like with the community they haven't been as big as a hit as other packs are so i've been excluding them from the save file just for that reason however i find myself really wanting to use some objects sometimes but i don't because i'm trying to limit the number of packs i use for the save file now just because there are so many and i've decided just to cut out the kits entirely just because i feel like not everyone's going to spend five dollars every time um for like content but i try to use <laughs> um a lot of expansion packs um and a lot of game packs um however with that said if you're watching me build this and you're like oh i don't have that pack that she does no worries no no worries um i really feel like that you guys could probably get by um just having the basics and what i mean by the basics is at least um the sims 4 um get together because you need it for the world and strange town for the for strange and str i'm sorry strangerville for a strange town i feel like those are at least the bare minimum to making this fun this pack functional however um i feel like if you do have more it it's only gonna be better f better for you basically because i use quite a because i will say i do use quite a few packs but you can see that some i favor more than others um as you can see like i like dream home decorator but in the beginning before dream home decorator wasn't a thing i didn't use it as much you know um tiny living is also a really nice one if you're looking for a pack i'm not sure how much tiny living i use though because that's like more of a newer pack so the older packs i will say have been used more but obviously as time goes on i haven't used all of the newer packs as much and i hope that makes sense to you guys and that you guys are debating or not whether it's worth for you guys to download it i think it's 100 percent worth downloading if you at least have um strangerville and windenburg for that for like the world at least because you can always go back and renovate these these towns i i have done you can always do that um however if you don't have them, then you can always just download my earlier versions. Because I believe Pleasant View doesn't, it was with base game world. So, um, you can at least, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, guys? I don't feel like I'm making a lot of sense, but I feel like, I feel like I am making sense, I should say. I'm just not explaining it very well. Um, because yeah, this, this world, of, I think is awesome. I love this project. I think it doesn't hit the same as it used to like I, because of the fact that i used to have the save file like when i first began this the save file is a fairly new concept only a few people really did it and a few people being people on tumblr that don't get enough credit because they are um great creators basically um little simsy and plumbella and me um and now i feel like a lot of people have save files which is awesome but i feel like it's time for me to realize that not all content is made the same and i am um gonna sign off here because here is the end of the video okay okay nice talking you guys okay guys so we're here at the end of the video i thought i'd do a walkthrough instead of screenshots at the end for once like platforming kind of thing that's something different obviously we didn't have at the beginning of the game and i have this little study area this cute little tv area It'd be so cute when the fireplace is on to the bathroom i thought the bathroom's actually really cute normally i don't like doing bathrooms but this one's actually turned out really cute and then here is the parents' bedroom it's more mature relaxing and then and here is the kitchen but the kitchen's really cute because you can see out to the living room like it's still open concept but it's still kind of its own room like it was originally um like it, like it was all closed off so i kind of kept that feature i guess i wanted it open 
an open layout, but I still wanted to keep that from the original. If we go up, doo -doo -doo, we have like a fake fireplace situation. Cause I know there was some things from the original I wanted to keep, like they had a fireplace upstairs and I kind of wanted to keep that, but we do have a fireplace downstairs. So I figured I would make this one kind of like a fake one. So it kind of like makes you think there is, but like really they just kind of like put candles in this pot over here and call it a day. <laughs> But yeah, this is a cute little area to like read a book or something like that. I kind of made my own bookshelf over here in the corner. And yes, we have another bathroom that kind of matches the one downstairs. I don't know. I kind of like the one downstairs better. Not going to lie, guys. But that one's there. And then I'll show you guys the teen bedroom last. And then here's kind of a boring room, but I, it's an exercise room. I wanted to put, I guess, exercise equipment, equipment in its own room because last time it was just like you know, around here, but I didn't know how to build then, guys, you know, I did, wasn't a great builder then, and I like to think now I am a lot better, especially here, because, like, I made this own shower, custom shower, like, it has a step up and everything, so that's really cute, and then here is, like, the third bathroom, bathrooms are kind of boring, but yeah, so, like, eldest son's room, like, he's, I kind of always saw him in college, but they didn't have college then, so I kind of just got, gave him a job and pretended, kind of messy, I think it kind of fits, his whole vibe. You can obviously tell that this balcony was decorated by the mom just because she's like, it's the front of the house. I want it to look cute. <laughs> so this is obviously not his decoration, but that's so cute. So here is one of the twin daughters, kind of seen her as more as like a gamer kind of girl and she has a very trendy kind of style. And you can see that through all of her posters in her room. Like look at the setup. The setup is awesome, which you love. I would have loved the setup if I was her age and of course we have the new sneaking out windows and the same too over in this room we got a sneaking out window over here and this cute pink princess room it's so cute and then we got these blow up chairs like that so they both have like very cutesy cutesy rooms and i love these chairs do these light up at night i don't even know oh they do oh how cute Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, cool. Drinking tray, and of course you can go down the ladder. I'm sorry if I'm moving kind of fast. I don't need mean to make you guys dizzy. A little telescope and the same right here. So they both can sneak out on both sides. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited for that feature. It reminds me of The Sims 2. With the walls up because they did something pretty cool in the backyard. And actually, I'm going to show you at nighttime because it looks really pretty at nighttime. So this is our pool. But I made like a pool over the deck. Um, but the thing is, is that you have to have all the walls up to see it. So that's why I did it, because I did it kind of in a special way to be able to do this, because normally you aren't able to do this. So that's pretty cute. And then we have an outdoor shower on the side. And then here is like the shed. And I figured since they have like a little garden patch that you could probably juice things and sell the juice, because that makes quite good money. I'll turn back in the afternoon. Have a little gaming table. And then a little outdoor patio space. Yeah, that's kind of the whole house here. If you're wondering what these are, these are just for like lightning bugs, like an effect that kind of comes on. In fact, I'll put one more over here just because I think that would be really cute and ambient. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the house? I think I did a really great job with it compared to what it was. Make sure you guys subscribe and like this video as well as follow me on all my other social medias. I love hearing you guys' comments, so don't forget to comment and I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Love ya. Bye.